Hey there, what's up you guys? It's your boy JD and welcome back to the channel and for the very first time in a very long time I am very excited especially for this video because for today we are going to be talking about Shoes So, cue intro So yeah guys, so um, these are the James Harden step back and it's a budget model for James Harden Obviously, I just said it's the James Harden step back. But yes, it is the budget model probably uh, after the BE BEs because I think they're going to discontinue that line. So anyway, so it is the new budget model for James Harden. So it doesn't look like a budget model actually if you ask me. So actually, before we proceed, as you guys can see, I am no longer wearing the cap. Well, it's because I finally like the way my hair looks. It's long and fluffy and it bounces around and yeah so I'm no longer wearing a cap because I love the way my hair looks now yes Ganana hair shut up shut up so anyways guys so uh, now let's talk about obviously let's, let's start talking about the traction as you guys can see uh, as you guys probably saw on my IG please follow I already took it out initially reviewed it obviously I have I, I haven't performed a full performance test yet on it because obviously the basketball courts are still closed as to prevent the spread of COVID-19 which is great which is a really good idea even though I'm going to play basketball so yeah so anyways so obviously we're gonna start on about the traction pattern first so the traction pattern set up here is as you can see on the forefoot it is an aggressive herringbone pattern which is the greatest traction pattern that anyone can ask for and on the heel area is your multi-directional waffle maker looking like pattern so yeah waffle maker guys if you look at it so but it is the Com these two are actually the combinations of two of James Harden's signature shoes, which is for the forefoot, the James Harden Volume 3, and for the heel area, which is the Harden Volume 4. And I think this is a great move by Adidas because it's a way for them to tell people that the traction pattern for James Harden's signature line is so great that we can actually just put it on budget models. So yeah. But upon initial wear, the traction pattern does feel great as you guys can see on the clips. I did try to mimic some basketball moves like a jab step or a pivot footing move here on our house because fortunately, fortunately, the flooring of the rooms in our house is made out of parquet so it kind of can mimic the feeling of a wooden court. So yeah, but obviously it's not as smooth as a wooden court because again, iba yung maintenance ng wooden court. Kaya mahal maglaro sa wooden court, guys. Kaya sobrang mahal, hindi ko maintindihan. So yun. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, you can see it there that the traction pattern does have you covered with the movements that you create. I'm not saying it's the best traction pattern out there, but it does its job. So again, it is a budget model. It is not a signature line. So if it does the job for this, then that means it's a good buy for me. A really good buy. So now let's move up. Let's move forward. Let's now move up to the cushion setup. And the cushion setup, you got bounce. We all know that I love bounce. It is my favorite cushion setup, especially in the Donovan issue ones but i'm just saying guys this has better cushion setup than donovan issue ones even though it does have a thinner layer of cushion setup but i guess that's really great because it gives you that balance of court feel and cushion setup actually upon initial wear nararamdaman ko agad yung bounce medyo plush siya, like the moment i gave in weight because i use this for biking today also so habang nagba bike ako syempre once i take a break tas bababa ako off my bike obviously i put one weight on one side of my body and once i do that nararamdaman ko yung cushion setup i feel my weight sinking in into the shoe so I think that's a great, great feel for a budget model. So yeah. So again, guys, if you're asking about the court feel, really good court feel. So perfect balance between cushion and court feel. So now let's move up. Let's move up to our materials. So for the materials, as you guys can see, it does have 
synthetic leather on the front area and I think that's great because I'm a leather guy. I really like my leather, especially in basketball shoes. Like if the more genuine it is, the better it is for me. So you got synthetic leathers on this, the forefoot area until the lateral and a little bit of the medial side, but it does have a mix of mesh materials right there. As you can see, the three stripes is also made out of, it's made out of uh, uh, synthetic leathers as well. Now on the back area, you got, uh, you got probably uh, mesh materials as well, but the heel counter is actually made out of plastic. The external heel counter is made out of plastic. And as you can see, it does have the logo of James Harden and it also for the tongue. Now the tongue's material, same as mesh, and it has a standard one booty tongue setup. Tapos yung lacing niya, standard materials lang for lace. But no, walang reklamo naman dun kasi siyempre budget model. And at the same time, laces are laces. If it keeps your foot locked in, then it's doing its job. Okay. So, now that we're done with the materials, let us talk about the fit, support, and the lockdown. So, at first for the fit, uh, kwento ko lang ng mabilis, guys. So, I got these shoes for a size 8 because like what I keep mentioning to you guys every time I do a shoe review, my size is a size 8 US. So, kung gusto nyo magpadala ng sapatos, maraming salamat po. Size 8 po. Ah, I'm just kidding, guys. So, yeah, I do. I am a size 8 usually for most shoes. But when I got the shoe, I initially tried it on and it was super sikip. As in, it was choking my shoe, man. Like, the way Undertaker chokes someone before he goes for choke slam. Yo, ganun. Ganun yung naramdaman ko. So, medyo nag choke siya. Like, it, it felt like as if if I took off the shoe after I tried it on, baka paglabas ng pa ako, kulay purple na siya. Yun, ganun. Ganun yung feel niya. Sobrang talaga iba yung pagkasikip niya. So, what I did was I asked for a size exchange and I got a size exchange. I got a half size up bigger and it was the best decision I made when it comes to the shoe. Size 8.5 was the way to go for me, especially that it's hot so my foot is actually expanding. Quick tip for you guys, if you guys do want to buy shoes, some all, uh, ikot muna kayo for about an hour before you actually go into the store and try it on because pagod na yung paa nyo, nag-expand na yung paa nyo, and that is probably your real size kasi pag naglalaro ka ng basketball, your feet will actually expand so it's best to actually tire yourself out a bit first when you are going to try a shoe in store para makita mo talaga kung anong size mo yan, so quick tip lang sa inyo yun guys now, for, so ayun, for the, for the fit, I do suggest that if you guys can go to the mall while practicing safe social distancing and wearing masks and using alcohol and washing your hands um, you guys can actually try it on in store so that you guys can see what your actual size is but if you guys can't I am giving you a tip if you are a white footer please go half a size up if you guys want to compare I will actually leave a link down below for the Zalora link and also for the adidas.com.ph link so yeah now let's go to the Port. Now the support for again the laces it do, it does its job so it's really great and then for the heel padding there's minimal heel padding but it, it works well it works great the in the my foot isn't slide um my the heel of my foot isn't sliding in in and out of the, the shoe it's slightly locked in there external heel counter obviously we haven't played basketball yet in these shoes so we can't really pour, do a full performance review on these guys so I don't know yet if the external heel counter it uh, does its job but from the looks of it it does i mean it's an external heel counter out there and there's also a heel counter in this area it's not just a plastic so i think having two two heel counters i think that's just gonna do the job for you right so now for the fit support lockdown lockdown again yeah does its job now again a um, thing for the support is i love how wide the base is of the shoes so recently, I've noticed that Adidas has been releasing shoes that has a wide base. And I think it started with the Dawn Issue 1. So when the Dawn Issue 1 was released, um, ayun na, nag-start na yung wide base setups ng Adidas. Yan, lumabas si Harden Force, na nagkaroon din ng wide setup. Tapos lumabas yung Dame 6, kahit super sleek looking si Dame 6. Um, it has a wide base setup. The D-Rose 10 also has a wide base setup. Um, and I think it's a great move by Adidas without sacrificing heel to toe transition and the rolling feeling. I think it's a great move by Adidas because having a wider base, just just enough and good wide base for the foot, 
will actually help you when it comes to lateral landings and stuff like that so i think it's a great move i hope they continue it and if there's room for improvement which i don't think there's a need to improve anymore but if there is i hope they, they have it whatever so yun, i hope they keep on doing this actually so yun, so you got that so when it comes to lateral movements the shoes got you covered so as you can see on the clips that, that right now the heel to, to throw transition is also great um it's not too flat and nor are you too flat to the ground as well your takeoffs are smooth to take the the jab steps are smooth as well so overall it is a great shoe for me An initial thought on the shoe is overall it does look like it's gonna perform well but i can't say yet because Siyempre, hindi naman tayo sure kasi ngayon hindi ko pa nga nalalaro, hindi ko pa siya nalalaro for basketball, right? So, <clears throat> lastly, uh, I would add, obviously, I have a new portion for my initial thoughts because before I used to put this on IG, now I want to put it on YouTube so that you guys can hear my thought word per word. So, aesthetically speaking, these guys look nice. So, imagine if this actually had light strike instead of bounce. This would actually look like the James Harden Volume 5. Actually, this shoe was released in January. Now, if you guys are wondering bakit ngayon ko lang siya ginagawa ng initial review, well, it's because, guys, back in January, the, the channel was still a plan. It was still on paper. It wasn't something that, you know, we were sure about doing. So, obviously, we went to a different path on what shoe to review first, and that was the Peak Terrence Romeo Bro, which is right there. You guys can click that if you want to see. So, yon. And but again, uh, it is six months late. But again, guys, the channel focuses on budget model reviews. So this is a budget model, and I want to make a review out of it. So yeah. So I do hope that we can play basketball very soon. But I'm also hoping that a vaccine for the COVID-19 will be released first. I mean, a lot of a lot of important issues are much more important than just playing basketball, guys. So yeah. So my my selfishness and patience with wanting to play basketball can really wait until it is safe to go outside and play basketball endlessly with friends so yeah so guys now that we're done talking about the shoe i would like to make a quick announcement on number one on the giveaway so guys tons of giveaway nga pala uh, we are moving it forward so kasi obviously after nike shoe tech talk well on the nike brand uh, pa ng iba pang brands na we have to talk about. So, but the thing is, kasi, um, we did create another video. Number one, the, the candid cuts, which I very much would like to encourage you guys to watch, which is up there. I featured a friend there just to talk about certain social political issues, not social action, yeah, but yeah, something that's very bothering. And at the same time, we are doing this now. You guys are watching the initial thoughts review of the james harden snapbacks and uh so that's two videos so imagine a delay in release ng nike shoe tech talk so we would be doing the release of the announcement of the winners on the second video of the nike shoe tech talk because the nike shoe tech talk will have two parts so we got part one and part two because nike has so much shoe technology out there that I needed two videos to talk about it and I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too because I've played in Nikes for a very very long time. I've tried different cushion setups from them and I enjoyed most of them and uh, I can make quanto about it, my personal experiences and the history of those uh, shoe tech, right? So anyways guys, you lang. Uh, so the announcement of winners will be moved forward. We have two new videos for Nike shoe tech and I'm just really excited because we talked about shoes today, guys. So, yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, share this video to your friends. And if your friends play basketball, show this to them. If they're looking for the perfect budget model, show them this channel. Tell them to subscribe. Hit the notif bell to stay updated. And, guys, please, GCQ na. So, please stay safe. Practice social distancing. Uh, wash your hands. Use alcohol. And as much as possible, please stay at home. So anyways, guys, this was your boy JD. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.